Hey guys, Mauro here. First off, I want to apologize for the noise in the background. They're doing construction just down the road, building apartments and uh, building apartments. And these guys, not even on Sundays, they rest. As you can tell, they're using heavy machinery. So, um, sorry about that. Okay, for those of you that are developing your forehand, you're developing your strokes and you, let's say you're a little, let's say you're beyond being a beginner, you're getting close to the intermediate or you're intermediate or advanced. And you're gonna start hitting the ball harder. And sometimes when we when we started when we're trying to improve that forehand going from a shot that is just pretty much just keeping the ball going in, we try to start becoming more aggressive, uh, accelerating the swing, trying to keep the ball a little flatter and a little more aggressive. And sometimes the change, the change from a from a just top spin shot that we use when we do when we're using on the beginners. Uh, sometimes uh, getting close to intermediate and even intermediate is just a shot that we brush down and up and pretty much is the shot that there's a right shot that you want to learn to um, to be consistent in your rallies that's the kind of shot that you want to you want to make sure you develop in order to it's just like the setup shot to be able to hit one two three four six seven eight times the ball as necessary during the point until you get something until you get a chance to be more aggressive, I show that you can move inside the court and, and, and attack. Um, so when you're moving from when 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 we already develop that top spin shot, and we wanna and we start moving more towards a shot that is more aggressive on the forehand to do doing that transition, uh, there are things that change in the, in the in the swing. One of the things that you're gonna notice in the professionals is that. If you, if you see when they're rolling from the baseline, they usually finish more up on the shoulder because that they're using the setup shot, more with top spin, unless they're trying to be really aggressive. But as soon as you see them moving inside the court, and you, it's very noticeable uh, in Federer's game, is that their shot finishes more around, like below the shoulder, around the arm. And one thing that they, uh, one thing that they do is that they accelerate, the shot doesn't go so much down a knob like a roller coaster, but it goes in a little, in a little kind of flatter swing forward. One of the things that change, that you start changing, that you wanna start changing when you're, you wanna become more aggressive in order to not only accelerate the speed, but mostly to keep control of the ball is where you make contact with the ball. When you, when you brush the ball, just to keep the shot going in, doing this, let's say the setup shot, the consistent forehand, you're brushing more on the side. You have the you have the the chin of the ball, the nose, and the forehead. So when you're being consistent, you're hitting that ball more on the chin, probably a little bit sometimes towards the nose, but not really that that much on the side, because sometimes that ball kind of goes down. If we focus a little more on the chin, trying to keep the ball going in, and 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 we hit, and and we just hit, and we bring the and we bring the racket up to the shoulder. Now. When you start speeding up to being aggressive, what I, um, what you want to do is what I call wrapping up the ball. Wrapping up the ball is if I want to be more. If this is top spin, just going down and up. Now you go you go fast forward, and this is what you do. Your swing goes flatter forward. So what you want to do when you what I mean wrapping up. This is this, this you're gonna be you're gonna make contact with the ball and your racket kind of closes right after contact. Again, it's very noticeable in the professional, and that's what, what, that's, that's what keeps that ball, that's what keeps the control in the height of the ball. Now, when you make, when, when you make contact with the ball, a very important thing is you gotta get that ball in front of you. You, can, you cannot get that, get that ball behind, and, and then try to wrap it up here. You gotta have an angle, so you wanna make sure that the, the angle of your racket and the arm which is what which is what I call the arrow. You want to make sure that you that you have the tip of the arrow is this one. So you want to make sure that the tip of the arrow is leading in front of you. So when you make contact, it's easy it's easy to close the face of the racket there. Some people might close it. Some players might close it because they relax the wrist, and the moment they make contact, the racket closes right away. Which I think is feathers feathers. Um, I think that's what what Federer does. Some other players, they make contact and they just they just they they do that kind of. It's like a kind of an ignition key in a motorcycle or a car. They make contact and they right away can close it. So that racket comes around. 
And many times you're gonna see the racket coming around and finishing more in this position. Some players finishing more in this position. Personally, I think you have better control if you keep the racket a little more close the face of the racket here. But again, like I always say, tennis is not a custom thing. I mean, tennis is a custom thing where you have to adjust to whatever works better for you. There is no perfect way. You go here, you go here, whichever way works for you, you just gotta try it. So you're gonna make contact with the ball and you're gonna wrap it up more, more on top and feel that that racket closes. It's gonna keep a better control of your, or, of, of your shot. Now, you do that only when you speed up, when your racket is at least uh, with, with certain amount of speed. If, if you wanna do, you don't wanna do it when you're going just, just kinda trying to make the shot and, and slow because that's going to give you a little bit of trouble to keep the ball going over the net. Yeah, that usually the, 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 the head of the racket is gaining speed and it's that racket is you're lagging here, you're making contact, you're leading with the tip of the arrow, you're making contact here and then that racket, the racket comes around. You want to make sure that the racket, the tip of the racket gains the speed from here already coming around and across your body. So it forms that kind of a C shape um, rotation here. You don't, you don't want to bring the, it being the arm rotation, which is what brings the racket, because that's not going to be enough speed on the head of the racket. You got to feel the difference between this, which is my arm swing in there, and the head of the racket already gaining a speed. So you, you even feel the weight of the racket coming around. See the tip of the racket coming first. You relax and bring it around. That way you can keep the arm uh, relaxed and you're gonna generate a lot more spin and a lot more speed. Now, this, this, the C shape, the way we hit the ball, the way we hit the ball is not a straight line really going down and up and then bringing it here. Just the way the racket, the head of the racket travels, is it's a C shape formation in the backhand and the forehand. On, even on the service, even on the ball, on the volley. So you wrap up the ball in pretty much. You can wrap it up pretty much in every ball, in every shot. You do it in the forehand coming around. You can do it in the backhand, whether you one-handed and whether you two-handed. You notice that the tip of the racket coming around. You do it in the serve, the way we serve and we wrap it. We we go flat forward. We hit the ball more flat forward only when we go for a flat serve and just going straight forward. Other than that. With just a little bit of stop spin we put and you have to brush that ball and it's not usually a straight line going up your racket is coming in, in in that direction so so that c shape wrap up that we do on the ball is in every shot we're gonna do it on the volleys as well when the when the ball is coming and you're getting ready here and you're doing this part you're going more like that instead of going straight forward straight forward when you want to put that ball away and you know in, let's say you have the high one c c sitting ball there to put it away that's what i call the uh, elevator button that you just push the button you just go straight straight through the ball aggressive on the backhand as well you can wrap it up a little bit bringing it to the body bringing it to the body same thing we do on the slice you know the slice is like an extended version of the of, of the volley we just start longer and we finish here and we're doing the same thing the racket is coming at an angle and we're brushing that ball the racket is coming at an angle and we're brushing that ball so that c shape wrap up is more works more as a as caressing the ball even though it can be done accelerating really fast the racket the head of the racket it works more as a, a caressing of the ball instead of just it instead of just hitting the ball flat on the volley one of the mistakes that a lot of people do is that they volley they just, they just hit it, elevator button, instead of feeling that you're doing more like a C, the, the C shape, wrap it up, wrap it up, you carry the ball. It feels like you're keeping that ball longer in your strings. Obviously, it's not that you're keeping it longer in the strings. It's just that you have better contact and it feels more controlled. One of the things that I want you to remember, I, I repeat it a lot to the people that I teach. Do you have a better control of the ball when the racket is coming at an angle towards the ball? When the racket is moving more in this position, let's say on the forehand, if you have the arm straight and your racket opens too early and you go like that with the face of the racket open and going towards the ball, you're more prone to mishit. 
when you're lagging and then it opens that's when you have a better a better chance of making contact same on the backhand come in the racket lagging and then opening not opening too early you do the same on the volley that's why i always say volley with the edge this doesn't change just go with the edge and you finish the same way how you start and how you finish and you go with the edge um and the service is the same thing you want to make contact you don't want to go straight forward you want to feel like that racket is coming at an angle again and hitting so so when the racket goes at an angle towards the ball you have better control hitting clean center solid shot but pay attention to shaping to to the wrap up of the ball on the forehand you want to feel you want to feel that you're making contact the racket closes and then you come around and remember you can use that on the forehand you can do that on the backhand on the ball is on the slice on the service on everything you got the idea is to have in your mind thinking i am not hitting the ball i don't want to feel that i'm hitting the ball flat i'm caressing the ball i'm uh, that way i can manipulate whatever i want to do to that shot okay all right guys well i hope it helps let me know any questions suggestions okay give me a like subscribe to my channel hey, well, go out Go out there, stay centered, be bold, and be perseverant. Thank you.